Y'all seen me, I do sweat in shirt when I went out in Texas, but I don't care. This is all I had to do with you because I had this little sweater, sweater on and it Tyler looked at me like, cause your ass girl can't dress like this. What's poppin' y'all? My name is Brache. And I'm Summer. And welcome back to my channel. First of all, if oh. you don't know... If you don't know who we are, first of all, go ahead and subscribe right now if you're watching. And when you get you a chance, I'm going to link it right over here. Go ahead and subscribe to my best friend's channel as well. So, I know you guys can tell from the title of this video, but we're about to do a get ready with me for Lil Baby's, Lil Baby's concert. First of all, where we at, Bestie? We are in Albuquerque, New Mexico. If you haven't been following us, which I feel like a lot of y'all have, but y'all know we have to say it. <laughs> you okay, Bessie? We know a lot of y'all have, but Ooh. if you have not and you're new here, we have been traveling the country since like June 21st, is when we mm -hmm. left? 22nd, 23rd, something like that. So we are currently in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We are only here for a week. Today is Monday and we leave on Thursday. Guess where we going in the comments below? My throat is itching. Whoop. Okay. <coughs> yeah. So literally every time we start filming, there's something wrong with you. It's the black egg, you're right. <coughs> Ty, what is, okay. Back and we better. We back and we better. Gully on the job because you let them. Girl, I guess he didn't. I've seen it every vlog. Before. Every freaking vlog. Every vlog. <laughs> but. Do I really see this? Yeah, I don't bro. know why I do that, this. Because, you know, it always starts because we come back and I say, back in with better. And I have to finish it. Hater. Who I got this from? Girl, I don't know. You done stole everybody's stuff. Okay, I can't even find nothing over here. But yes, guys, we are going to Little Baby's concert. If y'all watch the vlog, y'all already know Ty already went to one concert, honey. Little Baby's concert, but she went to the one in Houston because she got tickets. But we had for free. Yes, but we bought these tickets a little bit ago. Like how long ago, sis? Like a month ago. Bitch. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Ty, you killing me? Are you okay? <coughs> It's because it's itching, you need to cough. It scratches it, it scratches it. <coughs> okay, okay. <sighs> I'm not the I'm trying to get right. <sighs> Woo side. Y'all, it is currently Woo's almost seven o'clock, maybe? Yeah. You got my spoolie? No, so I've been using a toothbrush over here. I mean, I'm right. You can look in the bag. Lord. Lord, what is this? Lord, what, sir? Sis, I can't do my eyebrows. Lord ain't got nothing to do with your school I bet you he know where it's at. He probably do. Yeah, I'm just really going through it over here. Do you think when you lose stuff and you ask God to help you find it, do you think he helps you find it or he moves it to where you can find it? Good question. I don't know. I think he moves. So would you can find it? Yeah, like, you know. You still think I got it? Girl, I hope I ain't leaving in Houston. Right. Lord Jesus. That just messed up my whole makeup routine. <laughs> it ain't funny, sis, but it is. Like, what am I supposed to do? Ty, you, I saw like you've been using the last Summer, year. I don't even got. You don't got what? I don't even got the brush to apply it. You use mine. Um, I do want to tell y'all a little secret, okay? And I'm going to let y'all leave it on the inside school. Don't tell nobody. But me and my friend Haley, okay? If you're new to the channel, 
you don't know who my friend Haley is. So if you knew, you need to go back and catch up so then you can really get a vibe and a sense of who we is. But y'all, me and Haley about to drop a song, okay? Period, and it's good. It's good, y'all. Y'all, first of all, we, we finna get put on the map. They better stop playing. I'm, I'm about to... I'm about to go platinum. Yeah, if he gonna call me, he, he gonna call us asking where we at. What's going on? Oh, boy, Summer. It look fine. All you gotta do is just shape it. Yeah, it's like, bro, you kill me. Okay, you see, you got people over here with perfect eyebrows. And... They just no work. think they better than everybody. You Bitch. know what I mean? No, I don't. All I said was your eyebrow look fine. What else did you want me to say? Um, you want me to help you? You're not doing it. We only got thirty minutes to get ready. Why we got thirty minutes? Cause the concert started at six, eight, it's seven o'clock. And and, and 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 let me tell y'all why we we only got such a little time. Miss Thing over here, she been pedaling around <laughs> all day. Literally, it's bad. I ain't saying nothing, because, you know, I let her have a time, you know, we in New Mexico trying to relax and max out food. But since... Sorry, don't do that. I, I edited the moon routine. Sis been lollygagging today. So, have I really? Yeah, you have. But I ain't been sleep. You ain't been sleep, sis, but you have been pedaling around. <laughs> doing what? Ty, doing what? Nothing, sis. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Okay. That's funny. <laughs> Cause you know it, 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 it ain't that funny. <laughs> okay. It is funny, sir. Comment below if y'all ain't ever been to New Mexico. I don't know nobody that ever been to New Mexico. I gotta do number two. I do, sis. I do. Like, is it the bubble stuff? Bubble holding? You know, you just runs out every time. <clears throat> That'd be funny. Yeah, I don't know nobody that has ever came to New Mexico, been to New Mexico, drove through New Mexico. Do you something? Stop! It's in on me. Ty. No. Sorry. Well, I want y'all to know. Take note that Summer says that I'm the one that always got problems. This is Miss Always Got Problems over here. So I said when we film, every, like literally every time we film, sis, something wrong with your food. Your eye itching. Yeah, yeah, your coughing. Your head hurt. Literally, what is wrong? Sis, I be going through it. Bro. What? They flying. What? The, the ants? <laughs> Something. Y'all, first of all, clarify this before they think we got ants in the house. We are on a farm. So, yes, guys, there is a few ants. You know, literally, y'all, we are on an ant pile. We living on dirt. <laughs> Seriously. We on an ant pile, sis? Yes, outside is all gravity. Y'all ain't nothing but ants out there. So, you know you're going to see a few in the house. We are staying on the farm. This is, um, I've never stayed on a farm before. Do any of my subscribers stay on the farm? Or buy a farm? No, yes. Now, I know some of y'all live in the country. Got to. But we on a farm farm, though. Like, ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we on the farm Animals. with goats and chickens and... Horses. Horses and... Horses on a horse, but still. Still, it is a horse, though, you know? And mm -hmm. sheep, y'all. You know, we just blending, blending, blending. Okay. Yeah, someone be zooming through her makeup. But, really? Yes, yeah, sis. You just but my friend is a makeup guru, if y'all didn't know. I'm not. Yes, yeah, she is. Before we left the city, she had the city on lock with the makeup. Yes, I did. Stop playing. I'm just playing, y'all. I really didn't do much makeup, but I had a lot of potential if I would have stuck with it and did makeup. I was still doing makeup to the day on people. I'd probably been doing celebrity makeup. Some of you would have. You would have. You think so, Pooh? Yeah, Pooh. You got that good? You are that good. Oh, thank you, sis. Seriously. Me too. <laughs> Get into that arch. Stop playing. Stop playing. But yeah, I definitely, sis. One thing I can say, if anything, you have very improved way on your makeup, sis. Let me tell y'all, first of all, let's just say that this was actually one of my goals for the month of August. And the my goal was to improve my makeup. I wanted to get better on my makeup. I wanted a more flawless base, a more flawless application. You know, everything is more seamless. And I don't know if you guys can tell by the vlogs from over the time period, over these couple months, but my makeup has improved, okay? 
And if you say it ain't, you hate it. You can literally go back to the first Miami vlogs and like see. I mean, all the makeup don't look bad, but like you know, you can just tell. You can tell when someone to get better. And really, y'all wanna know where it comes from? Doing it. Literally. That really shows that practice is makes perfect. Yep. Literally. You mm -hmm. just gotta stay consistent. And just keep doing it. Hey, honestly, Ty, it's not take you that many times. I say it took you about I say like five times. Or you think it took more than that? Mm -hmm. I feel like I said about five times you doing makeup, you really started like since it was not that many times. You don't think so? You know? I feel like it more than that. by the time we got to by the time we got to New Orleans. Yeah. But I'm saying you ain't doing makeup every day in Miami. You might do it like ten times. So that's a lot. What ten times? Yeah. I know, that's what I'm saying. But and also I will say that from the beginning of um Miami and the end of Miami, my makeup got better from the beginning to the end as well. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, just really practicing. And yeah, I just when you put your mind on something and you say you're gonna do it, if you say you're gonna do it, do it. Cause you can do it. I gotta get some new uh concealer. Yeah, me too. Like y'all, we need all new makeup, literally. Like we if y'all could just see the makeup collection right now. Like seriously, it's, it's, it's bad. Like it's trash. -ish. Yes. I would say that this um life as minimalist. Bro, they own me. I keep telling you that, sis. It was on me. Crawling on me. We'll see. If it's, if it, if it really is. Okay. I always think you lying. Yep, I just seen it, sis. I just seen it. But yeah, I was gonna say living as a minimalist. I was gonna say this is definitely something new to me. I am a hoarder slash pack rat, and I don't know how to throw things away. Um, and I just like to keep keep things forever. So, with that being said, the fact that um we threw everything away. If you guys want to see that vlog i'm actually gonna link that vlog as well because y'all need to see what was going on and we just threw it and all yeah, i was comfortable with throwing it away yeah she's a throwaway queen but me i'm not you know what i'm saying like let me take like summer deletes pictures you know what i mean like someone will have no pictures in her phone because she ain't never got no storage like me you know what i'm saying i got three thousand pictures in my phone two thousand videos like i i am a hoarder i can't delete stuff i don't know how to let go but summer Summer gonna let go now. Now that's one thing for let me. Let it go. You real good at letting something go. Okay, let me take that back. Let me take that back. It comes to things like that. Materialistic things. Yeah. Now other stuff. Am I good at letting? No. You ain't good at letting nothing else go but that. For real, sis. You need to work on it. Really? Yeah. Like what? Just saying. Just other stuff in general. You know. Like life? Yeah, like my friend, she, you know, like... She don't, she don't let stuff go as in, you know, she can hold a grudge or something. Okay, that sounds good. Yes, yeah, so you, you, you could be mad at somebody now. <laughs> so you really think so? Yes, yeah, so you know you can. I feel like when it comes to dudes or just in general? In general. Mm -hmm. What you think? You don't? Yeah, I do. I, don't, I think some people have it worse. But me, like, it's a low-key grudge. Like, I'm not going to say much about it to come up. You, you agree? Um, oh, no, that ain't true. No. I'll be saying something about it. Yeah, you don't know how to be quiet, bro. For real. Like, yeah, someone just talk too much. You know, she just don't, she don't know how to do that, for real. Which is okay. It is, but, you know, she's working on it, right? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yeah, we, really, with this um road trip that we're on, <clears throat> I feel like that we should definitely come out better people. We should. And if not, then something was definitely done wrong. So, yeah. Um, I feel like I'm already doing a little better with my patience since we've been in New Mexico. <laughs> yeah, we've been in New Mexico for two days. <laughs> but I am. Since you got to start somewhere, you got to start somewhere. Two days, girl, that's today. That's all you know me as. Yes, and today. Why are you still holding my past? You right, sis. I ain't, I ain't gonna bring up your past no more. But she ain't that patient. But we working on it. So, mm -hmm. I really am working on it. I gotta work on it before I have kids. 
Yes, yes, you do. Because them keys ain't no joke. They ain't serious. No. I want to talk about our journey of basically road tripping across the country because that's what we doing. So we started in South Carolina, of course, if y'all don't know. And then we had a two bedroom apartment, y'all. We just mm -hmm. us two. Like, it sounds so crazy saying that, sis. Did we have a two bedroom You just take stuff for granted. Yeah. Yeah, we had a two bedroom apartment, just us two. Which, um, I will say this though, I do miss my apartment dearly. Yes, and I miss my own space. I miss it. We know we used to clean up since we had the little yellow living room. We took it for, I took it for granted. You think you took it for a little bit of granted? Um, maybe. So, yeah. Um, so, of course, so we stayed, we went to Miami. We stayed in Miami for a month. We went to New Orleans. We went to, um, we were there for a month. We went to Houston. We were there for a month. And now we're here in New Mexico. We'll be here for a week. And then we're off to our next destination after this. Can't tell y'all. We don't tell y'all where we're going. But take a guess. Leave it in the comment. We'll cash up you $5 if you guess right. It has to be the correct city and state. Okay. But I will say with my experience so well, I feel like that this is something that I've, I've never really done before. Um, so it definitely is something different. And like I said, like I'm not a minimalistic person. So not really having everything that I'm used to having back home is definitely different for me. Not really sure how I feel about that part. Um, it's actually kind of sad. Like, I feel like I don't have anything. Really, sis? Yes, sis. Seriously. Wait, what? Like, I don't know. Like, I just feel like, I mean, I, I, mean, I guess I got rid I ain't get rid of all my clothes, but I just feel like, I mean, a lot of, I just feel like I have no clothes. I have nothing to pick from. All of our stuff is packed up in little boxes and stuff. It's just, you know. Yeah, I get it. It is an inconvenience. That's that's it. It's just the inconvenience. But I will say overall, the experience within itself. Um, see, I don't got nothing. What you missing? What up? even is this? This is not even a beauty bundle for real, is it? It's the powder bundle. Is it gonna do the same thing? See if I got two of here. No. No. You love all your stuff. Like, I just want to cry right now. Not cry, bitch. Seriously, you. can use mine after me, though. You just go put dark foundation on it. Look like I left every freaking thing in freaking um Texas. We're going to see if it's a difference. I'm about to use it. Hmm. Like, is it the feel? Is the difference like the material is made out mm -hmm. of? supposed to be for powder but who cares but speak up i do want to say that the funnest part about the experience is um for one being able to do this with someone who i enjoy spending time with and i care about um that's one thing that Aww, i am being sweet today enjoying um about it um we are definitely spending a lot more time together than what we normally um used to i mean even we, when we live together yeah we've always been i mean i feel like we we definitely do spend is it in on my back summer no it's not i feel them ty yes it was summer no it was not okay all right first of all i do want to say that i wish that maybelline made this with a little squirt you know what i mean the little push pump because i don't be liking to put the makeup on my hands no more like I, I can't do it no more. Really? Yeah, like, it wow. just, just be everywhere, bro. Back to what I was saying. Um, I feel like this is definitely a great experience. I feel like me experiencing this with Summer, I feel like I wouldn't want to do this with anyone else but her. I will say that. Oh, and you still mean that? Yeah, I, I still do mean it. Reason being, I just feel like, you know, with some experiences, you can experience it with somebody, with someone else, and then other ones, you know, like, it, it just won't hit the same. And I feel like she's just a perfect person to do something like this with. Like, I feel like um, everybody else, like other people, they're either too, they need stuff to be more put together or they just not down for the cause. Like, they just like to. Probably some other people, if it was anybody else, they'd be panicking right now. <sighs> yeah, like, y'all, we literally quit our jobs, you know? Like, we don't have an apartment. We, we, we literally have nowhere to stay. They're homeless. 
technically so, yeah. we're homeless bro yes we're homeless like we don't have a home to call our own we are homeless <laughs> living out of airbnbs no thanks. that's that's literally our life right now if you want to explain our life that's how i will, I will explain it we are homeless living out of airbnb <laughs> traveling the country and yeah people asking how i mean we don't know it's our third day out here yeah for real i mean if we being real it's like we ain't kidding y'all we ain't kidding i just want to know where the money coming from we don't know we don't know jesus like people think like i feel like honestly people kind of think that oh they must got so much together because you know they're traveling the country nope yeah that's not the case at all nope um we just 23 like any other 23 year olds trying to figure out life just winging it instead of being in the, in the city you from partying every night and all that we just in different cities basically and like i feel like I, i've i've got a lot of comments you know like of you know like there's no way i wish i could do this or something like that but basically i mean i feel like it's definitely an example that you can you can yeah you don't need much because we not rich okay if we was rich i promise y'all how long are we doing this <laughs> we would, and then if we was it wouldn't be to this magnitude it would be way bigger it would be better. I would, yes it, it it would be nothing how it is now i just want y'all to know that exactly i think we live it now if we had some money money that we'd be in a penthouse in new mexico right now y'all would see the city in the background Hey, that's that's what i be want to tell people like you think if i was get we would be sharing a bed <laughs> Child, people just—it's social they play, media. People, yeah. It's social media, and people place limitations on themselves. I'm gonna say that you can do whatever, literally. And you know, I feel like my whole life I heard it over and over and over, but I feel like this is the first point in my life where I truly, truly believe it. Seriously, like you here, you can do whatever you want, not a lie, and still in your head, you know. First of all, when you say whatever you want, people don't even think literally what it like. The thing you used to dream about you was key. When you watch the show and be like, I wish I could dress like, I wish I could be like, I wish I could do that, you know? But in your head, you just think, mm, that's not meant for me. You know, I can't do that. Girl, you can do and be anybody that you want to be and do anything that you want to do. And I'm preaching to myself too. Like, we still definitely have limited beliefs that we're trying to get over. But like, if you want to be that person, you want to live your dream, you got to get over the limited, you know? And also, your reasons why not literally you will come with a thousand reasons why not what's the reasons why how can you what we got we got why you can't we don't have enough money um i have two kids and da, 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 da. i mean the list go on and on and on says pack the kids up and the man tell them let's go i mean i don't know see yeah i feel like who says you can't what society oh because you have a job or you, you can't leave that little job that you you know oh okay okay oh okay like a lot of stuff really is excuses literally really like i mean like you right like people always i feel like with a lot of situations i feel like we as humans do it a lot is we sometimes focus on the negative sides of things opposed to the the positives you know like you whenever you think of something you always think about you know well this could happen this could happen this could happen you know what i'm saying like it could go bad it could not go how i planned it it could go do you ever think that it can go literally exactly how you played it out in your head? You know, I feel like people don't. We don't. Never, we we don't. We don't think that we always go to the negatives. And it's like why? Because I mean, at the end of the day, we we know how Earth works. There's definitely the bad side of things that that can happen. Even though technically, I believe that even when it is bad, it ain't bad. It's trying to get you to better. But we ain't gonna talk about that. We just gonna say when you have an option to do something, right? Why do you let your mind fixate on all the wrong things? You know, you up late at night thinking of all the wrong. Why you not up late at night thinking of all the good? Think about it, y'all. We do that to ourselves. We do. Seriously. All the time. Like, with everything. You know, you, th you thinking, right, somebody right now, thinking about getting a new car. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's, you know, I don't know. I, I could lose my job. I might, might can't afford the payments. This could happen. You know what I'm saying? The car might break down. I don't know. I mean, you can get a promotion at your job and you trade that car around for an AMG. Yeah, I, I just... You just got to really just think way beyond what we think. And really. then I feel like also even people like us, you know, who are kind of on to the, you know, we need to change our thinking. We, I'm, I'm going to say, we, we get bombarded with other people's 
you know, you let then okay, so you on the right track, but then you let Susie thoughts you can't do that, girl. You you know you can't afford it. Girl, I'll tell you what I can't afford you, you cause you can't afford it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Cause you can't do it, cause you can't see yourself doing it. Then they try to tell you you can't do it. Child, I'm affirming this in the air right now. We can do and be and say and, and have as much money and all of that as we want. And that's just period. The only reason you ain't where you wanna be is because you really don't wanna be there. Don't let that go over your head. Oh, 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 oh. No, I tell Tati all the time, I'm like, I'm not even going to say the word, but I'm going to say this. We ain't rich because we don't want to be rich. I'm just all I'm going to say. So like, every time I say that, sis, we, we be like, we, yeah, that's it right there. That's it right there. No, for real. It's like, true. And I bet it's someone watching this right now, like, oh my God, that's so, let's not, let's live in reality. Da, da, da. Girl, get that mindset out. I'm telling you. It's a lot of reasons me and Taka make for being for not being here right now. I'll tell you that. It's a lot of reasons. A lot, okay. From family to money to a lot of reasons, okay? A lot. Life ain't perfect, okay? We humans. But I'm grateful to be here. I am. I'm, I'm grateful, grateful to have the thoughts and the mindset that I have. I feel that... Um, I definitely feel that me and Summer are definitely small town girls with bigger dreams. Literally. Put that on a shirt. I know J. Cole said it, right? J. Cole said it. And I was just telling my grandma today, I if I have to die chasing my dream, I will. Like, I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, my grandma say, when you come back to South Carolina, I know what I said. What's the rush? <laughs> Seriously, what is the, I mean, what? What, what do y'all need me to do there? I'm trying to figure out, Ty. Seriously. Okay. I love y'all, but see, what, what? Ty. What? We ain't got that much powder, do we? Mm -mm. Well, we had two different ones, though, right? You remember? Yeah, I don't know where the other one went. It was in the trunk, I think. You want me to go get it? I do want to say, though, that this, I guess this is a powder brush that Summer said. It's really not that bad. Low key, I might kind of like it. I'm actually excited about the concert. And. It's crazy though because I would literally because this is the back outside tour for little baby so it's the baby and dirt concert or whatever, but I literally just went to the concert in Houston. If y'all didn't see the vlog, like we said, check it out. Um, but literally I know that they're gonna do probably the same exact thing. It's literally about the same show. Um, but the only difference is is that I was late the last time, so literally we missed. Coil Ray and Dirk and I'm not sure who else he brought out but um I missed everybody because we were late. Reason being, you know, we got told. No oh, no, Y'all, this is literally how much we have left. Y'all see that what's on top? I don't even want to spill it. Well it's a little bit underneath too, but it's just what you need and I'll do what I gotta do. Well, I'm gonna say you so at least we can do it under under eye. Really all you really, really need it for. But as I was saying, I was telling them how, you know, I'm excited. I'm still excited about the concert, even though I kind of know what's going to happen. But I really don't know what's going to happen, though, because, I mean, I miss half the concert. Okay, don't be telling me. I miss the whole, since I really miss the whole concert except for Baby. Well, it's time to tell you, I don't, I don't really know, but I ain't know. You know what I mean? You putting on lashes? No. I shouldn't even act. Well. I should have known. Yeah, Summer is definitely becoming a person who don't like wearing lashes. And she used to be a person. I'm not going to say she used to wear lashes. I mean, she used to like wearing lashes. But Summer, you did used to wear lashes without your makeup looks. Really? Yeah. That was just for a short period of time. You ain't had to both say this. It was really for a short period of time. Probably for like, like a six month span. But remember, even before, that was when I really started getting, like, trying to learn how to do better my makeup. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, y'all, the main reason is just, like, it's annoying to put on and, like, if you're going for a natural look, lashes gotta go. You want some little beefy lashes? Yeah. I will say, me personally, I don't even think that my makeup looks good without lashes. Like, really? I would never do my, I, I probably would not do my makeup to not wear no lashes. I need a little something. But I don't know. It's just maybe some stage that I, I, I'm in in life. And, Ty, you never really wore makeup. Like, got good at, you haven't been good at your makeup without putting lashes on. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like there was one point where I would just do 
you know, do what? Uh, mascara or something like that. But another reason being is because, I mean, I guess, like, if you do your makeup, I guess you would probably put mascara on. Summer! I told you. <laughs> Maybe the ants was crawling on you. They were. But it was not one on your back. I think it was. You could see it. It was small. I, I can't wear mascara. I think it's so trash. I do not put mascara on. I'm not trying to put it on with my lashes, without the lashes. I just don't really like mascara. It's not my thing. Reason being, it's just it just take it, it it stays on for days. Okay, you just don't take it off right. Can you use that palette real quick? No, I just need like you know. Well then I will say personally, I don't really like it like that. Maybe I'm not taking it off right. You're right, sis. You don't like taking it off right. I'm saying, like, sis, do you, do you feel like you take yours off right? Well, yeah, like, when I try to, yeah. But, like, let me just tell you, give me an example. Yesterday, when I, well, whatever that it was, I did makeup. I didn't put mascara on because of that reason. But I'm saying, yours stay on days is because you. What I'm saying, that I'm just saying, even when it's on, when you take your makeup off and you wash it, even when it's a, it's a little bit on the next day, even when it's a little bit, I just don't like that. You know what I mean? Okay, but you you have balls of glue on your lash for two weeks. And, you know, we can't. Just saying. That that killed me worse than the mascara sis. Them dang on glue balls. I can't. It be looking so nasty. It look worse than the mascara. You feel like I always got glue balls on my eyes? Not always, but sometimes, yes. And then just put lashes over the over it. Bitch, you can't tell. But it's okay, sis. I'm walking around with eyeglass. I mean, um eyelash glue balls and you be walking around with the mascara on your eyelashes. Sis, you I don't care. I'm just saying that that's what you be doing. And I guess that's what I be doing too. But just for that reason, I and and I feel like, like for example, I glass is so chap. I glass glue is just so much easier to take off. Ty, then mascara. I mean, yeah. No. Yeah. Ty, it be loose. You can't even get it off with. It don't even come off with. Um, I glass. I glass glue. Yes, it be bound up. You gotta sit there. And I feel like it's just so much easier. If you feel the piece, you just pull this strip off. I don't know what you be doing. Yeah, no. Yeah, coming off like that. Either way, I can't do the mascara. It's trash. Then I don't do mascara because I feel like it don't do nothing for my eyelashes. No way. It don't make mine look elongated like I was supposed to. So you just give it a little, you know, doo doo. Oh, this about to be harsh. Hold up, maybe not. Maybe this is a little. It's okay. Very harsh vibes, though. Well, look, you can already see the difference if you look in the camera between this side and this side. It's just a little bit darker. Just give you a little, huh? That's it. It's a little darker. I suppose, friend. Like, why am I. Like, my contour always go on different on one side and it do the other. Why is that? I don't know, but we really need some better brushes. Make it look so much better. We need better everything. Yes. High end foundation, all of that. Coming soon. Like, girl, I'm trying to be wearing Tom Ford foundation. It is. Coming soon, though. When I put that Tom Ford foundation on, they ain't going to be able to tell me nothing. They ain't going to say, who did your makeup, friend? Me, friend. That's what I'm going to say. My lips are so chapped, guys. This is the look. I'm gonna be done. Peace out. You know what you're wearing? Nope, but figure it out. You have an idea? Nope. This side is definitely more harsh. This contour looks pretty decent. I don't know. Like, low key, I shouldn't even vlog a little bit because I could have wore what I wore to that concert. I ain't gonna do them like that, though. Girl, not that one got me nine views on my morning routine. Nine? Nine. On TikTok? Yes. Seriously, like, what? I don't get it, Ty. Give it time so you want to know something. What? Repost it. Because TikTok do be trippy. They be trying to shadow ban people and stuff. If my video don't do what it's supposed to do, I'm going back and I'm reposting that hoe. 
period. This is what I do, y'all. I need to tone down my down my contour. You just go back over it with your foundation brush for real. Just hit them lines so the lines don't be as harsh and it just blends very, it gives you a seamless, very seamless look. So I want y'all to see how the line looks kind of harsh right here. Watch how I blend this out. Y'all see that? That's the trick. Woo. That contour is hitting. I just want to say, if you have not watched my morning routine, we're going to link it right here because I work 12 hours on that morning routine. It's only six minutes, but still, it took me a long time. So please go watch it. Thank you. I is here about She said I was lollygagging. I was it. This was lollygagging. This was lollygagging. It's okay, though, Summer. So, I mean, you don't think it was all gagging pool? A little bit. <laughs> no. No? No. <laughs> Sis was all gagging. It took her too long. Her video was 12 minutes. Originally. Before it got knocked down to five. And it took her seven hours to edit the video. I ain't saying nothing now. Well, I'm judging either. I have nothing to say. Makeup is done though. What do you guys think? Very little mm, natural beat. That's it. Now I gotta use our little bit of powder that we don't have. Okay. Maybe I should let it come out in the top right here. Let's see, I'm not trying to spill nothing though. Okay, we got a little bit. We just gonna set up under our eyes. Summer, is you watching your video? Yeah. You was messing up my video. Oh, it's loud? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, besties! See, I left you enough powder, didn't I? Yeah. You using way more than me. Well, sis, my face is more oilier than yours, too. Okay. Just a little bit. I'm sad we ran out of powder. Yeah, we probably gotta. We probably should go to uh, drug drugstore powder to save some money. But that just makes me cringe. I got. I got a good one for Frodo. Which one? Maybelline. Oh, they say it's good. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Yeah, it better be. I feel like it's gonna be a little cold out here. What you think? Yeah, low key. See, this is a little cool now, ain't it? Yeah, I mean, now that's something that's a little different. I mean, I know that it is the fall and it's September, but it's, it's probably like this is Summer, fifty six degrees. Right, it's not fifty six degrees right now. Summer, it begin fifty six degrees at night though. Oh. Uh, it don't get that cold out in the second Yes, it do. Summer, right now, we know it's not. Too cold. That's it. I feel like I bit my tongue. Did I bring my good? You know them jeans I used to love? Is this them? It is them! It is them! That's them, Taisha. It's them. Some, you want to know what I'm going to tell you? What? I don't even know what jeans you used to love. <laughs> I had no idea what you was talking about. Oh. Well, I guess we're about to get ready, so. We'll come back when we're dressed. Yeah, we got to find what we're wearing. So, peace out. All right, finished look. First of all, well, I don't got my jewelry on. I forgot to put my jewelry on. I'm gonna put it on. But this is the finished look. First of all, let's get into this little beat right now that I got going on. Get contour. Y'all, y'all seen me? I just wore this shirt when I went out in Texas, but I don't care. This is all I had to do with you because I had this little sweater, sweater on, and it Tyler looked at me like country ass girl can't dress like this. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like, okay. So, yeah, but this is my little fit. Basically, we're very simple, okay? Very. We got jeans on with a little black crane top. First I got this cold out here, y'all. So, I really need something like this, but I don't have it. So, I guess I'm about to get Well, we have more over there. But it might not go at your fit, you know? If you didn't want one, you can get one, though. Okay. 
anyways i threw a little fun on you know dress it up a little bit i'm definitely gonna put on a little gold necklace so picture this with a gold necklace gold watch bracelet little earrings and yeah but this beat okay Thank y'all so, so, so much for watching. We're going to try to have the time of our lives tonight like we do every day of our lives. Um, also, do not forget to tune in to my sis channel. If y'all want to see what's going on tonight, I'm gonna the, have vlog. the vlog will be uploaded the same day y'all see this. So, go over there and see what's cooking in the Stoop. kitchen. Hello. Bye.